Hey, sup everybody, BMS Lou here. Hope everybody's doing well out there. I wanted to do another, I say another because I have already done a recent quick unboxing, quick review of an alarm clock recently. I had the uh, iHome IBT22 that my wife got me for 2014 Valentine's Day, which I ended up returning. You could look at the unboxing of that video uh, if you just look at my videos. Uh, I returned it because it didn't have a clock radio. Uh, I like personally waking up to the radio, um, but the buzzer's fine too. But uh, I just, uh, for what she paid, $50, I didn't think it was worth the cost because it didn't have a radio and it was 50 bucks. So she was very nice and gracious to let me return it for something a little bit more casual because this is going to be on my nightstand. It's not going to be, I'm not going to plug my phone into it, although I can with this new one that you see here, the Timex. Uh, but it's nothing that I'm going to use a lot or I'm going to very rarely use plugging in my phone because, you know, the speakers on these and the speakers on the iHome, although they're better, uh, it's not something I'm going to be using that often anyway. So I got this new one instead. It cost me under $25 at a local Mart store. Um, I'm sure you can guess. This is the Timex AM FM dual alarm clock radio with automatic time setting system. It's actually the uh, Timex T715BW3. And I already opened it and basically it came with just the system and the manual. So model T715. Alrighty. And let's, this is the, I wanted to show you real quick. This is what I previously had. The iHome, I believe it's the IP90. Uh, definitely a lot bigger. This is probably 12, 13 inches wide. I can't it really fit it all on screen. Uh, the clock still works. We've had it for about three years, four years probably. Uh, I could hook up my previous iPhones, but now it doesn't work because I have the iPhone 5. So this no longer, well, I suppose if it's not good for me, but I suppose if you had a phone, this basically now is just a clock. The speaker, the right speaker is about gone and the volume doesn't work and the left speaker is gone. Just happened one day, probably uh, two months back, close to two months back. I've been using my iPhone 5S alarm my cracked iPhone 5S alarm, as you can see the crack there, darn it. Anyway, that's another story. Um, I've been using the alarm on that to wake me up in the morning for work and all that. So finally I broke down. My wife was very gracious to get me the, the IBT22, like I had mentioned, but it didn't have a radio. And for 50 bucks, I wasn't really thrilled with it. So I returned it and I got this for $25. Again, the Timex. Uh, as you can see, first off, when I opened it out of the box, I was very surprised. It seems it doesn't feel cheap. And a lot of these things kind of feel cheap plastic. It actually feels really good. It looks really good. Um, let's see, what do I have it on right now for that's AM FM back there. I'm just feeling around. Uh, there is a dimmer. Okay, it's on low right now. There's high, two settings, really not that big of a difference. It could be a little bit dimmer as far as I'm concerned, but whatever. Not that big a deal. I got bad eyes, so this looks great to me. Uh, alarm one, all the settings are very simple right here. Off, radio, and buzzer. I like to wake up to the radio, so I have alarm one set for radio. And I have alarm two. I actually have it off right now, but super simple. I love the way these are right in the front. The top looked a little busy to me at first but it's actually very simple to use. I glanced at the manual. I've had this thing open for less than 10 minutes and I've already tried the alarms uh, and everything seemed to work great. Turn on the radio that way, although I think I have it down. Yeah, yeah, so there we go, there's the radio. The speakers on these things aren't gonna be, you know, great, so, um, yeah, you get what you pay for. I paid 25 bucks. As you can see, the speaker here in the back. It's very simple. I just need an alarm clock. It's not gonna be something I'm gonna be jamming to. Back here, we got a line in. So actually, I can 
plug in my phone, which I will do that for you right now. So you can hear that. Let me put on the song here real quick. That is playing through my phone. Sounds good. Sounds decent. It's gonna wake me up. That's all good. So we can see that that works. That works fine. Okay. Turn that, uh, turn that down a little bit. And also back here we got the volume button, which we uh, just needed. The dimmer, high and low. And then on the other side we have. The tuning and the AM FM. I have it on FM right now. And this is very cool actually. The tuning, although it's a little wheel back here, it's digital. So I was concerned because I didn't see any AM FM grid down here. It's actually all digital. So that's very cool. I, I really like that. Now to uh, set the time zone, actually, you would do that through here time, the month, date, and the year actually displays on this as well. We can go ahead and do the year, 2014. The month and day, 222, 2014. The time is actually 111 in the afternoon. There's different alarm modes. So let's go ahead and select alarm one. And if I click on mode, you can see right now it's just set on Saturday and Sunday. If you want it to be Every day of the week, just hit alarm mode again. It goes Monday through Sunday. You could do Saturday and Sunday. You could also do Monday through Friday, which is what I want that on because I work Monday through Friday. You could do the same for alarm two. Alarm two, currently have it on every day of the week. I'm not really gonna set up alarm two right now, uh, but I just wanted to show you. You have your sleep timer, your snooze on and off right here. So that's real simple. To set the time, you just hit time, Plus and negative over here, you know, go higher or lower. If you hold it down, obviously it goes faster. Uh, very simple and easy to set up. It looks like it has everything that I wanted. The plug-in MP3 player thing is kind of cool. Like I said, that's nothing I really needed. I just wanted a nice, basic alarm clock. I thought $25 with a radio was very worth it as long as it holds up and gives me a little bit of time that will be good you know I plug in my phone to other better speakers around the house uh, this is gonna be like rare uh, and I have an outlet that this is gonna plug right into with the AC adapter here so it's gonna be very close this cord could be about a foot longer I'm not sure how long the cord is but it works for where my nightstand is at and the plug into the wall so no big deal uh, no complaints there um, yeah, it seems like a pretty decent product for what I've spent. Uh, I'm usually pretty good at updating, so you know, a few weeks down the road, I'll post an update maybe in the description. But uh, as of now, that's just a quick look at the Timex AM FM dual alarm clock radio. Uh, very nice, small, as you can see, uh, a lot smaller, probably about two inches smaller than my previous iHome that I had. So I can display a beautiful family picture beside my alarm clock on my nightstand, whereas before it would have been tough. So thanks uh, again for watching this video. I hope you got something from it. My name is BMS Lou. Uh, I welcome you to like, leave comments. Uh, I'm pretty good at getting back on comments, or if you have any questions, feel free. I will get back with you guys. And um, you know, I just do very simple videos uh, on my channel. Uh, a lot of different things actually, but just a normal guy, you know, a uh, family guy who wants to have just decent normal things and uh, let you guys check him out on my, uh, check out my reviews and unboxings on the uh, channel. So I uh, hope everybody has a great day. I will talk to you guys later. Take care.